Hey guys, it's Jake Hall, the Manufacturing Millennial. It is now day seven of the soft quarantine here in Michigan, and we're gonna continue on with some of these videos. I've hoped you enjoy the previous ones I've been putting out. If not, make sure and go check those out. But right now we're gonna continue on with part two, where yesterday we talked about QC's backlight conveyor, and we're gonna go ahead and complement that video talking about vision inspection using this. So this is the Banner VE camera. This comes in four different sizes from 752 to 480, a 1.3 megapixel, a 2 megapixel, and a 5 megapixel. This can be used with multiple applications, and I'm going to quickly skip to a quick video of us using 24 of these on one machine. Alright, so that was a really cool video. It looked like a Christmas show going on with all those lights. So in that video, we saw two different types of vision lights being used. One was a bar light, and the other one was this mountable ring light that pops right on the front of the VE camera. This makes a very compact lighting solution where this light can be interchanged with whatever color that you want, red, blue, green, infrared, depending on what material you're looking at. In this case, we're not going to be using a front-facing light, we're going to be using the backlight. And on this, I'm going to have the conveyor running, and I'm going to be inspecting these LEGO parts to get us a couple features. So with that, I'm going to switch over to the software that you can download, and you can run on an emulator, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to take some pictures, and then bring it on my computer, and show you guys how we can do some inspection. Hey guys, so we're sitting in my office now, we got some fun stuff behind me with all the LEGO I enjoy. And uh, great for this application since we're looking at Lego on a conveyor belt. Um, so I have the Banner Vision Manager in front of us right now, and we have the emulator loaded up. I selected what folder the images I saved off the camera were that I saved to a USB drive, and we're just going to bring them into the emulator. So I click on the Emulator tab, and now we can see here some of the parts that we took pictures of. And I can go ahead and I can click through this and trigger each individual one, and we can see some of the, uh, the images. So what I want to do is I want to apply a couple tool sets to do some inspections just to give you a quick overview. The first one is uh, let's go ahead and let's detect these one by two blocks and count them. So I'm going to click um, add an inspection tool here, click on blob tool, and I'm going to select the ROI that I want to look at. So this is the region of interest that I'm doing my inspection. I'm going to do my threshold. I'm going to want it to be dark images since I have a white background, which is my backlight. And then I'm going to select an area range. So here's all the different size um, areas that we see on here. As we move around, I can see um, all the different uh, sizes that we're inspecting. So here's the, the 2x4s and the 1x8s in the person. But I want to do the uh, the 1x2s. So I'm going to move this around and select the, the 1x2s. So there's the 1x1. And maybe here is the 1x2s. Perfect. So there's the 1x2. Um, and just as simple as that, I can now go to test. Click on count, and uh, let's say I always want to pass when there is between one and three of them. Uh, so now as I trigger the images, we can see as this image moves around, our green is showing us where the inspection occurs. So you can see here, here's just moving through it, and we can see some uh, inspection of our one by twos. So that's just a nice part present application. So as the parts move down the conveyor, we can verify that those parts are there. If you wanted to get more information from that, you can always click on blob statistics. And then from here, it shows where all of your positions are along each individual blob that we're detecting. Uh, so the centroid of it, the perimeter, um, and all the information where if you want to do a, a picking application with a robot. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at um, another tool. So I'm going to delete the blob here. And uh, I'm going to go into another tool, and I'm going to do a, let's do a part match tool. So I'm going to go ahead and once again create the ROI. I'm going to select a character that I want to do an ROI match on. So let's do this person. I'm going to go ahead and rotate him around to fit my field of view. And uh, he looks good. So then I'm going to go to pattern, teach. I'm going to set my percent match to, let's say, 70%. And my rotation range, I'm going to move to 180. So that way, that person can rotate any direction on my conveyor belt. So we can see here, I have now match 1, 2, 3, and 4. And as I move through here, I can have one match, another match. 
there's matches one and two, one, two, three, and four. So just as simple as that, I can now identify specifically each individual person. And then the same thing before. I can go ahead and then get more information um, from each individual person and get that feedback back on what my centroid is, my y-axis, and also what my angle is of each individual blob. So on how communication works is I can go into system settings, communication, industrial protocols, and add that to Ethernet IP. And just like that, you can go ahead and communicate this system to your Allen Bradley PLC. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go ahead and flatten the curve with me, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. I just had one more fun thing to do because it's just too much fun right now. If you ever want to measure what the diameter of your toilet paper is, because that's the biggest hype in toilet paper craze right now, you can go up, take a picture of your toilet paper, go ahead and add your tool, add a circle gauge tool, set the area that you're looking at, go ahead and adjust your threshold up a little bit, and then I'm going to do a, uh, a dark to bright scenario, and we can trigger through that. If we can see our inspection is detecting our two size diameters, go and select your radius tool and uh, pump that up to make sure that you have plenty of toilet paper whenever you need it. So, uh-oh, we're running out of toilet paper, we're failing, and uh, we got a full roll again, so we're good. Hey, guys, thanks so much. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Take care.